We have behind us a 1972 John Deere 4020 power shift. In the final production cycle of the 72 4020s, that tractor was manufactured about halfway through the cycle and it was shipped to Albany, Georgia on February 3rd, 1972. I had been looking for particularly a 1972 power shift for about five to seven years. The market had been very, very generous to those tractors when you looked at what they were bringing. And I found the tractor at Polk Auction Company in New Paris, Indiana. It was in the condition that you see as we look at it. However, after I bought the tractor and I went out to get it to load it, on the side of the tractor was an envelope hanging that had receipts for approximately $27,000 worth of work that had been done on the tractor. The transmission, the engine, the pump, that I was unaware of when I bought the tractor. Even with the condition it's in, my intention is that it will go a complete nut and bolt full restoration. In about 18 months, I wanna drive the tractor a little bit, use it a little bit, make sure there are no other issues remaining. I do have weights that are to be added to the front and the rear wheels. I do have an original quick hitch to be added. So when I get finished, it will have a full, complete nut and bolt restoration. The 4020 has always been a tractor near and dear to my heart simply because it was the first John Deere tractor that I ever drove when I was about eight years old. The, the plan for this tractor is to be a show tractor. The eventual goal is to have a 1972 2520 power shift, 3020 power shift, 4020 power shift, and 4620 power shift. Along with collecting this tractor, one of the things that I've also done is started collecting John Deere items from 1972 so that when I display the tractor at a show, I have an original shop manual from 1972 that has never been out of the sleeve. It was mailed to the dealership. It still has the postal tag on it. I have a calendar from 1972 from a John Deere dealer in Indiana nearby. Actually, I know the gentleman that owned that dealership. And I've started collecting items, memorabilia from 1972 from John Deere in order to be able to display that with the tractor. I think it makes it a little more interesting and unusual so that people can look back and see at that time period some of the other things that were going on. For example, a 1972 John Deere annual report showing Deere's sales and some of the information on the company. I just think it's kind of interesting to have all of the data from that time period.